I love this game. I love this game, Spencer! Yo, 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 what's going on, Team Twitter? I hope you're all super well. I'm feeling... I don't know. Both my feet are a little bit sore, but they're not as bad as they were yesterday. So I thought, you know what? Let's just get the kit on. Let's get the boots on and let's see how it is. Yesterday, it was a precautionary thing. If I was in the middle of the season or I don't know if it was any other point, I think I would have just pushed through it and gone, well, let's just keep going. But it's such an important point in my life and my career to make sure that I am ready for Tuesday. Tuesday today is Saturday. So I have Sunday, Monday, and then Tuesday's the day. I've looked at the forecast, it's gonna be raining. But man, I have to be ready for that day. If I'm not ready, then that could be this season thrown away. This is such a massive opportunity. And look, if you miss one training day, you guys saw yesterday I did match analysis, but if you miss one training day, you're not... Here's the thing, a lot of people think if they miss one training day, they're missing the world. The thing is, if you miss training day, after training day, after training day, after training day, that's when it really starts to impact you. But if you just take a day off so that your body can recover, but not a day off, you're still working mentally on match analysis, stretching, rolling, and looking after your body, you're probably gaining a lot more than you would if you went out and did it whilst you're not 100%. Because sometimes you just gotta make that conscious decision, and that's what I did yesterday. So I'm waiting for Jack and Sam, we're gonna go down, we're gonna try to do three minute runs, and look, I'm going to go into today's session going, I'm 100%. I'm feeling absolutely amazing. And if it hurts, I'll stop. It's simple as that. I need to go in with the mentality that it's fine. That's what you gotta do every single session. And if it's not, then it's not, you pull out. So I'm gonna head down to the park pretty soon. I'll catch you guys down there. We're doing three minute runs. Oh, I'm excited. All right, change of plan. Sam and Jack are going down to the park by themselves a bit later on because it is a bit hot right now. Currently we're sitting on 23 degrees, uh, humidity 62%. It's hot, man, especially when you're out in the sun, but I kind of want to do my three minute runs in the heat, in the cool, because when it comes to game day, when it comes to trainings, trials, I could be training in this 30 degree heat, 35 degree heat. So that's the plan for me. I want to be able to condition my body to that. It's going to be much harder to do in this sort of weather, but hey, we gotta do it, we gotta get out there. So I'm gonna head down to the park, get that in, and there's not a whole lot else I can really do. I'll do some first touch stuff. I'll probably end up coming home and just doing some juggling against the wall and a few first touch drills maybe at the park, simply because it's an individual session and dribbling's intense. I don't really wanna do a whole lot of push off the foot stuff. But yeah, we're going to this session with a positive mindset. And right before I go, I wanna tell you guys this video is sponsored by OneFootball. The absolute best app on the market to keep up to date with all the transfer news, fixtures, results. I hope it's getting into your guys' heads because I absolutely love this app. They'll be keeping me up to date with all the transfer news with Arsenal in the January transfer window. I can't wait. So make sure you go down below, click the link in the description to download it. Let's get it off to this session. All right, so I've arrived down at the park. As you can see, Spencer's doing his own thing down there, sniffing stuff. Anyway, I need to get into this session. Three minute runs. If you don't know how it goes, simply it's three minutes. You can do it up and down over 75 meters. You can go around the whole oval, but it needs to be a 90 to 100% run. You'll find that in the first minute, you'll be able to push for that 90%. And then after that, it's just, keep your legs turning over because all the lactic acid in your legs. Last time I did this, I said, Clades, man, my legs were so sore during that. I don't know what it was. I, maybe I didn't stretch properly to begin with. Maybe I didn't warm up properly. And he went, mate, that's all the lactic acid. That That's what it is. And yeah, man, that sucked. We all know fitness sucks. Three minute runs times two with five minutes in between. It sucks. I don't enjoy it, but you need to go in there with the mentality of, I'm gonna kill this. I'm going to absolutely blitz it. I enjoy it. You just need to have a positive outlook on it and not just, ugh, fitness, ugh. So I'm truthful to you guys. The truth is, this isn't fun. This ain't fun, I don't wanna be out here. I'd probably prefer to be at home playing a bit of FIFA or even better, out on the field playing some 1v1s or first touch stuff. Bit of shooting wouldn't be too bad, but man, I gotta do this fitness. And now I gotta convince myself 
I'm out here. I gotta enjoy it. I gotta push myself. I gotta be the best me right now and make sure that I get through this and absolutely kill it. So that's the plan. It's all about mindset. Everything is mindset. So we'll see what I can do. It's gonna be tough. Not gonna be easy. I'm right, not really sure how I'm going to do this. I think I'm just gonna run all the way that way and then kind of do a slight turn like that and then come back and just go up and back. I think, I think I'd be able to get two in. I'm not exactly sure. We'll see. That was an incredibly gnarly fall. <laughs> Fell from there, down to there. Looks like, yeah, I've, oh, I've broken the front of the camera a little bit. As long as it works, that's all I care about. That's a little bit annoying. Looks like everything works okay, but oh, I'm just more concerned that I'm annoyed I didn't get the footage for you guys. If this was broken, I'd probably cry. I would honestly cry. I have no idea how much you guys saw. I got back and was like, no, where's my camera? I forgot how windy this field was, so you guys saw what you saw. My legs are feeling the lactic. I'm uh, how far in now? Nearly halfway through my five minute rest, and then we go for another three minutes. And yeah, Spencer's all the way over there. I don't know what he's doing. He tried to join in with me a little bit. Where is he? Just, uh, you guys can't see. There he is. <laughs> There's definitely something wrong with the camera. I'm gonna have to suss it out a bit more. I'm a little bit upset now. I don't want my camera to be broken, so I'm gonna get on with my next set. You guys won't see it. Annoying, annoying. It's a bit sad, really. Spence barely it took me 15 minutes to walk from there to here. Now, get in the car. Go. He doesn't want to move. <laughs> Look at him. All right, straight back home, and there was no way I was going to do anything up there. There's no wall. I may as well come home and use this wall to get my first touch drills in, because having a wall for first touch is, it's like a partner, it's a friend. I wish you were the park old friend. Anyway, part of the reason I don't wear sunscreen and I get really burnt is because I put it on my forehead, and towards the end of the three minute runs, the sweat was carrying the sunscreen into my eyes, I absolutely killed. But while I'm warm, going to get some first touch in. One touch, two touch, I have another little drill, which will be coming in the new first touch program, which we'll be releasing very, very soon. So keep your eyes peeled for that. There's going to be 50 first touch drills. I know a ton of you guys were asking for first touch, so hey, you got it. Yo, that was close to the line. <laughs> That's way better. I just put a little chopping board there and now it won't bounce up so I can kick it a lot harder than I was. Woo, I love it. I love this game. I love this game, Spencer! Good little workout. Again, you guys only see so little. That was about 25, 30 minutes. I don't know, something like that. That's my guess. I never really time this sort of thing because I just do it until... I don't know. I, I just enjoy myself. I enjoy kicking the ball against the wall. I enjoy improving. Whew! That's been a tough set. And that's on fatigue as well. That's the other thing I want to say. Is that these drills that I'm doing now... I've come home, I've probably had, my guess is seven minutes rest total by the time I got in. 
And now I'm straight into the drill. So I wanted to do it on a bit of fatigue. I could feel the lactic acid in my legs. It was tough, man. It was tough, I tell you that. But really good to get out. I'm stoked. My foot is feeling, I don't even feel pain. Not even when I'm walking, not when I'm changing angles, nothing. It's, it's brilliant. So that's great news. Really good news. Really good search. You enjoy that, Spence? I guess he did. Alrighty, cooking with Tweety. Today we're cooking up some pad si u, which is basically noodles. And according to my phone, it's only going to take around 20 minutes to make. So that is pretty damn cool. I'll kind of take you guys through the steps, I guess. It's pretty simple, you just boil the water. I don't know, I'll show you. All right, I'm gonna have to put the camera down to show you guys this next bit. We'll pop you right here. Actually, first I need to show you what I've done. So, cooked the noodles, as the packet says, there and there. I've also cooked up some chicken thighs, and then broccoli and bok choy as well. I could have done carrot. I could have used chicken breast instead of chicken thigh. I remember Matt saying that Chicken breast is better for you probably because there's better protein or there's more protein, but hey, I'm just following a recipe. I'm eating food, it's all that matters. You can, like I always say, you can go and do this and that and that, or you can do this and it's probably just as good. So that's what I'm doing. Now let me put you down. So now you need to walk, you put the garlic crusher in, crush the garlic, make sure that's out. I did two cloves of garlic and the second one in as well. This thing actually sucks. Now you want to put the wok onto high heat and we'll let that puppy cook for a little bit until the garlic turns golden. And then after that, you pretty much just put all the broccoli in. Oh, I need to add sauce. So I made this sauce which has soy sauce, oyster sauce, water, a little bit of sugar. I think that's it. This is my first time cooking it, so I don't really know what I'm doing. All right, next up, we need to add all this. All right, quick sticks. Garlic's golden, it's turning brown, we put all this in. And also the chicken. I don't know if this thing's big enough. I should have put the chicken in first. Ugh. They say put this in for one minute. I don't see how that's possible. Oh, well, I'm cooking it until the chicken's cooked, man. <laughs> Alright, so we're looking good in the wok. It's looking pretty cooked. I'm going to add in the sauce and the noodles. And that's going to be pretty much done until I think it's cooked. I'll be the judge of that, not this stupid recipe book. But yeah, it's looking all right. Looking all right. I would have loved to add carrots next time. Next time. All right, time for me to head off to the gym. I got the iPhone light behind here. I tell you what, one of my most disliked things right now is going to the gym or doing your training session on an empty stomach. So to get that pad CU in or pad Thai, whatever you want to call it, and then go to the gym feels absolutely amazing. So it just means I have energy. So I'm going to go out there, smash this workout, absolutely kill it. Look, you all know I'm not a fan of the gym. I don't go there and love it but it's something that i know i have to do if i want to progress in this world of football so let's go kill it Alrighty, starting off with a new exercise i haven't shown you guys before the quarter squat now i managed to load this up to 120 kg for five reps and this is tough it's a different type of squat you know there's so many different things you can do at the gym you can do really deep squat you can do small less weight with explosiveness it's, there's just so many different things you can do and it's just you know doing it then we move on to the dumbbell bench press and a whole heap of other exercises but yeah that was my gym session Alrighty, we're gonna end the vlog on that good lifting session i'm enjoying myself in the gym you know just working 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 and man trials are they're right around the corner they're getting close so I need to be prepared for that and make sure that I'm at the top of my game when they're coming. It may mean tapering off the training a little bit because trials are coming up. I need to be as close to 100% in my body as possible. So, Team Tweety, I'm signing out. Make sure you leave a like on the show. Subscribe around here. Join the journey. I'll see you in the next video. Listen.